butterfly. <laughs> the hell was that? Hey everyone. So this week has been a little bananas. It's beginning to like kick off prep for summer season. So there are events all the time. I think I went to like four this week. And at these events, a lot of times they give out gift bags or like goodies and things like that. And I did get a lot of goodies this week. And so I was like, okay, I'm going to take everybody through the goodies I got. And then I kind of came to think about it and I was like, you know what? I want to give you guys some of them. I know some of you left comments that people do giveaways when they do PR unboxings. And I was just like, hmm, I decided I wanted to make this extra fun. So you're going to win a mystery box for me. In fact, you won't actually know what you're winning until you get it. Um, don't worry, it won't be crap. It'll be like good stuff. It'll probably be nicer than you think and it'll be worth a good chunk of change. I just like the idea of surprising someone. I also like the ability to be able to like maybe throw some stuff in there that I'm not even showing you in here. That just stuff that I think would be fun to open up in a box, right? It'll be great. Anyway, to enter, all you need to do to win this mystery box is to make sure you're subscribed, like this video, and leave a comment on what made you happy today. That's literally it. So again, to win a super mega awesome incredibly cool mystery box prepared by me all you need to do is subscribe like leave a comment about what's making you happy that's it so now we're going to jump into all the stuff i got some of these things very well might find their way to your mystery box assuming you win fyi one entry per person i will be closing entries next Saturday. I will leave that date down in the description box so it's all clear and all that fun stuff. So the first thing I got in the mail was from NARS. NARS is launching this new, I guess, set. Well, they've already, okay. Here's what I found. I put this on Instagram because I was super excited about it because it was rose gold. It is the orgasm set, which I hope I don't get in trouble for saying. But apparently, um, this iconic color has been the ultimate selling color for NARS. I'm still like exploring and learning about makeup in general, but what they're offering is some new items in that collection. So they're offering an afterglow lip balm, an illuminating powder, and a limited edition version of the blush, blush in that orgasm color. Now the blush is the item that's been around forever and ever and ever and everybody loves. And this is the color of that blush. I'm trying to get the that's the color of the blush. This is apparently the best NARS shade of blush you can get. And I'm really excited mostly because I did try out the lip balm earlier. And first of all, the tube is banging. It's this amazing rose gold color, which is my metal tone. And the lip color is just this lovely, like shimmery, pale pink, perfect for summer. So I'm real into this. So thank you NARS for sending me this amazing kit. And I can't wait to try it all out for real okay the next thing i went to was a watch event for swatch swatch relaunched well didn't relaunch they launched skin irony which is a new line off of their skin brand they're larger and they have more kind of like i feel like a tomboy feel to them even though they're masculine and feminine watches so this watch and i can't get it out of the box is what i got from the event it is a navy kind of dial a blue dial here and it has um this amazing blue and white striped band. I love swatches because they remind me of the, you know, early 90s. And frankly, while I think this watch is super cool, I kind of wish it was like a crazy print because that's like my jam is like crazy prints. Next. The next thing I went to was a launch of the Instax Square new camera. So this is the Instax Square 6, which is their new camera that they just launched and mine came in a rose gold color which I'm like super excited about because that's my metal tone as we just talked about um, and the camera itself is super super cool there's a lot of there's less I, I haven't opened this at all I just want to show you guys what it looks like but they make it so hard with all the stuff in the box oh more stuff in the box here we go i mean let's just talk about how pretty it is it's so pretty i also have like a really cute idea that i want to like take pictures and send them to friends is that a weird thing like 
I feel like a Polaroid has this weird ability to capture a true moment, whereas like a lot of our digital photos are like perfectly staged, no mistakes, whereas a Polaroid you're getting like the real moment. And I, I kind of love that. So I'm excited to play around with this. I love that it's rose gold because it's my jam. And I already look like super cute. Look how cute we look together. As if it was like a person and I'm posing with a person. But I was really, really grateful to get this. This is probably one of the nicest things I've ever gotten in an event. So thank you Fujifilm for hooking a sister child up. We're gonna have some fun with that camera. I am certain of it. Now I get all the things that were in the box back in the box. And they gave me this tote bag too, but I'm gonna be real, I'm never gonna use it. I just don't use tote bag, like gym bags like that. I mean, I like cute bags. It's not a weird thing, like, if I'm gonna have, like, go all through all that effort to have, like, a cute outfit, wouldn't I have a cute bag? Okay, so this is the mother load. What you are about to see is the highlight of my life. Like, literally, I look at the times of my life where I'm like, man, my life is pretty awesome. And this was one of those moments. So I was at an event for Mount Cloth, who I love looking at their new swim this season. And uh, I was visiting a PR agency and they were like, hey, do you want to take a tour of our beauty closet? Now, when I when they asked me that, I was thinking it was gonna be like this tiny little room with like a couple samples, like sample sizes. And uh, that I was gonna walk away with just a few samples. And I was excited about that, like a DIY Ipsy bag, right? Uh, no, all full samples all amazing brands and while I was going through the sample closet Dasha from Orange is the New Black was like right next to me and I'm like is this my life like can I die now is this is this it is this have I peaked have I peaked it's like do I die a brutal death after this is this just like my last moment of joy I like couldn't believe it was happening to me so I got this amazing bag of stuff and the weirdest part was as I was walking through, I was really hesitant to take things because it felt like, I felt guilty about it. Like, I don't deserve it. I have, I have very serious imposter syndrome where I'm like, I just don't really feel um, important as people think I am. <laughs> so I was like, oh, I mean, if it's okay, I'll take that. And they were like, take it all. And they just kept putting stuff in my bag. So a lot of this isn't even stuff that I picked out. It's the stuff that the people who were taking me through the, the different rooms, there were multiple rooms of this place picked out for me. They would ask me questions and then like put stuff in the bag. So I'm gonna show you everything I got. A couple of the things I've already tried because I have no self-control. I'll tell you what I thought of them. Uh, so far I love everything, so <laughs> there you go. So I'm just gonna reach in the bag and go one by one. The things I used are actually on the pop. This is a June Jacobs Peppermint Moisturizing Foot Mist, okay? This is a life saver for me. It is a game changer. So what you do is you like put it on your foot and it's got a little bit of an oily feel to it, but it's also got some peppermint to it. And it's like an antiseptic and it basically calms aching feet. Now the important thing about that is, if you guys know, I am currently trying to run further, harder, longer, and my feet hurt. And I also have had problems with my feet in the past. So I have been spraying my feet with this. I put it back in the box for this. I've been spraying my feet with it, putting socks over it, and I feel like a difference in my feet. It's not like life changing. It's not gonna solve a foot injury, but it does take away some of that achiness that you feel. So I am really grateful. And I put this in my bag because I thought it was funny. Like, <laughs> it was like foot spray. <laughs> and lo and behold, this stuff is actually great. It's actually really great. It was the first thing I used out of the bag. And I'm really happy that I, you know, thought it was funny and put it in the bag. The next two items I've already used as well, and I'm obsessed. Like, legitimately, I put a video on, on uh, Instagram. The difference when I used this in my the quality of my face and its skin and its tone and its redness and even its, like, elasticity and its hydration was 
bananas. Like it was super visibly different. I've never had that happen with any other mask I've used. This is Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Atomic Heat Mask from Peter Thomas Roth. And then there is accompanying Hungarian Thermal Water Mineral Rich Moisturizer that you put on after. You put this on your face for three minutes, you let it sit, then you wet your hands and rub it around. It gets real hot. You let it sit for a little bit and then you wash it off. Your face feels fantastic. I don't know what the sorcery is. This was put in my bag because they said it was really good. And that's all it took. And um, it's funny because when I told my, you know, people on Instagram that are using it, a couple other people are like, oh, I bought it because it looks like a mermaid jar, which it does. Let me show you. It literally looks like a jar for mermaids. Because that, I would have bought that just because it's like sparkly mermaid looking. And then I was pleasantly surprised about how amazing it was. So the consensus is from multiple people, this is the ish. And I can't help but agree it's amazing. It's literally life changing for me. Okay, the next thing, also from Peter Thomas Roth, are these hydrogel, like, eye patches. So these are from the 24 karat gold, 24 karat, 24 karat magic on my eyes. Anyway, so they're little, like, thingies that you put underneath your eyes to take down swelling. They reduce um, lines, wrinkles, crow's feet, all of that stuff. So just before you shoot, throw these on. I got these because I use... A another version of these that are a little bit cheaper I want to see if there's a difference in the price point like if these work better I don't mind paying extra that's kind of my theory on these things if it makes a difference then yeah it's worth the money given my experience with the thermal mask I feel like I'm gonna have some new uh, more expensive skin prep like habits but that's okay if it works it works right like I'm all about investment if it works the next is a 24 karat gold mask Again, this was picked because the box sparkles. That's pretty much it, guys. And this is, um, basically gives you a glow, re-energizes the look of skin, and it has a little caffeine in it to tighten your skin. So this is awesome as well. And I, I'm sold on that brand. Like, I'm sure it's amazing. They also gave me a new shampoo and conditional from Caritas, and I got the um, fundamental nutrition shampoo for severely dried out hair. I have really bad hair because A, I haven't cut it in like two years and B, because I run in the sun all the time, it's like fried all the time in the summer. So in the summer, I have to use really heavy conditioner. In the winter, it's not as bad, but in the summer, it's terrible. So this will be fun to try out. Also along the lines with that, they gave me the mask that also goes with that line. So once a week, I can like do a deep treatment and get my hair back in order. I use a lot of hair masks. I haven't found like my gold standard yet. There's a couple I like. So I'm always willing to kind of try out a new one. With shampoos, I have not found my dream shampoo yet. So maybe it will be this line. We will see. You'll find out in my May favorites, I'm sure, because I will have tested everything by then. Next, from June Jacobs, we have a Radiant Glow Self Tanning Lotion. Let me talk about why this is in the box. So secret for all of you that do not know me personally, my face does not tan. The rest of my body tans really, really fast. So in the middle of summer, my face is white and the rest of my skin is quite dark and it's a little weird looking. Now, I'm not embarrassed by it, but when I'm shooting and um, doing things for brands, it looks weird. It, it looks off-putting. It takes the focus away from the image. So I could either color it in with powder or I can just use a self-tanner, you know, two or three times a week and it balances it out. So that is why I got this to try it out. This is safe for your face. June Jacobs Spa Collection is a really like healthy, natural version of skincare kind of product. So I wanted to try a self tanner that had less gunk in it. So to see if it worked better than the gunky one I'm using, cause I'm 99.9% .9 sure that the gunky one I'm using is making me break out, which is sad cause I've used it for years. But the reality is sometimes your skin just says, Hell no, we're done with that. And I think that's what's going on. There's so much in here, guys. I'm gonna try to get through it all. Next is from Bliss. It's a what a, what a Melon Reviving and Distressing Overnight Mask. I believe this is a lotion that you put on and just, I got this because it said de-stress and because she was like, which one do you want? And I'm like, ah, de-stress. So this is cool. Um, then this is my favorite lotion from Bliss. It's the orange, a blood orange and white pepper body butter. 
so I was really excited to be able to get this because I've used this before. It's expensive, so it's like a special treat for me. So this will be my once a week kind of fully lather myself up, indulge in the scent moment. So grateful for that. Okay, then we had a lot of Huda Beauty lip colors. I think I got them all, but I may not have. They have two styles, um, these matte versions here, which I got in a color called Video Star, which they insisted I took because I'm a YouTuber. And the ultimate color of the season by Huda is this color called Wifey, and apparently that's like one of the most popular colors. Then I got two um, metallic colors, which are Saucy and uh, this color called Mystical. And I'm really into this Mystical because it looks like it's, it's like a unicorny pinky purple that I think is gonna be like banging on my skin tone. Okay. So this I opened up just because I got excited about the packaging because it was all sparkly. This is Urban Decay Heavy Metal. I thought this was a lip gloss because it was light pink, but I found that it's actually like a little sparkle eyeliner you can add at the bottom to add a little extra sparkle to your eyes. So uh, again, this is lack of self-control here where I just ripped open the thing because I was like, what's in this box? This was put in my um, bag so I didn't like know what it was. She was like, oh, you'll love this. And so I just, yeah, I wanted to know what it actually was. Then also from Urban Decay, I got this amazing um, prepping spray. I love sprays because it's just easier. And then a cooling and hydrating setting spray. So prep spray, primer kind of thing, and then a cooling setting spray. And from what I've heard from the internet, that the Urban Decay prepping and um, setting sprays are like some of the best. So I feel like I got an upgrade because what I was using before worked, but it also had like a metallic tint to it, which was fun when I was doing like a sparkly look, but when I was doing something more matte, it just looked weird, but I didn't have any other setting spray. Well, now I do. Times are a-changing. So then we had some blushes from Urban Decay's Afterglow 8-Hour Powder Blush. So we got it in Satisfy, X-Rated, and Quickie. So fun fact about me is that I, when I'm in these situations where people are like, oh, you need to pick something, I pick them by the name. <laughs> When I went, because I don't know, because I could literally use anything, right? So I was like, oh, these have slightly inappropriate and naughty names. Oh, yeah, they can go in my bag. So that's why I picked these colors. Turns out they're actually pretty good colors for me. A light peach, a medium pink, and then this bright pink here, which I know I'm going to love because I'm basically, the more color I have on my skin, the happier I am inside. <laughs> that's the truth. Then I got some really amazing eyeliners from them as well. So there's two that from this John Michael Basket collection. I should know who that is, but it's this really amazing um, green color, and I'm trying to find what it's actually called. Yeah, this is post-punk, and this is vivid, and I just thought, I love bright eyeliners, and I want to experiment more with them, so it was a great way to get those, and then also from that same kind of, um, you know, bright colors, we have Woodstock and Chaos, but these are not from the same line. These are from the 24 7 glide on eye pencil but they are also like super bright colors so pumping up my eyeliner game with some crazy eyeliners then we got into some highlight situations here we got urban decay's disco tween queen which just by the name alone i'm excited to try out and the urban decay urban decay afterglow highlighter palette so this has some really kind of natural shades that i think will be great to like travel with um, and I'll probably use them as both highlighter and eyeshadow because I'm that girl, multi-purpose queen. Then, so my friend told me these aren't out yet. Maybe they're out now because when I asked him about this stuff, because he was, I like, he works at Sephora. So I'm like, please educate me. I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, I know what I'm doing makeup wise, but I'm not like an expert yet in makeup. So these are apparently new. They are the Urban Decay Double Team Mascara. So what it is on one side, it's the color, and on the other side, it's like an added bit of sparkle. And I got those in purple, blue, and then this gold and silver combo. So these are gonna be super fun, especially with the bright, bright eyeliners to do like some monochromatic or some crazy eye looks. I'm I'm like super excited about it. And in that same line of things, they were like, um, this palette might be too bright, you know, bright for you. But they had this Huda Beauty um, Electric Obsessions palette. And just look at those colors. 
I'm gonna do so many fun things with this palette. So many fun things, because it's bright as F, and it's gonna be amazing. I'm also really excited about this super sparkly teal color right there. It's just speaking to me on so many levels, so that might be the first thing I try out, because it would probably look really good with this neon green. I'm gonna do something cool. I don't know what yet, but it'll happen. Okay, now we get into the parade of eyeshadows. It's a lot of eyeshadows. So, I got eight eyeshadows from Urban Decay. We'll go through them really quickly. I got this Woodstock color, which is a purpley color, like a pinkish purple. Gamma Ray, which is this really sparkly blue, and actually, it's part of the Moon Dust collection, so it's like real sparkly. Then I got Kush, again for the inappropriate name. This one is Fishnet, again because I like the name. This one is Radium, it's just a really cool bright blue. Then we got Moon Dust, and this is Solstice, and I just like it because it's super sparkly. I just liked how much it sparkled. And then I got Extra Galactic, and that's because it reminded me of Interplanet Janet. She's a galaxy girl, a super mama from a future world. She travels around the planet, Interplanet Janet. I don't remember the rest of it. And then the last one is Vice, because how could I leave a color called Vice? But they're all um, on the darker shades and definitely more like rebellious so I'm excited to try like my hand at some crazy colors I mostly like love crazy colors I've just never done them because I don't own any so now I do then I got this moon dust in it's liquid moon dust eyeshadow so this is a great base for a lot of other things and I just got it in a neutral color called recharged okay then we have two amazing lipsticks from Urban Decay from the Vice collection the first I'm super excited about, it's called Broadcast, and it's a super bright coral. I think it's going to look amazing on. And the next is this color called Control. It's a cream lipstick, and it's this bright blue. So the, the red one, uh, whoa, where is everything? This one is a sheer, and this one is a cream. So I'm excited to try both of these. I've never had blue lipstick, so I, I feel like I need to do an all blue look. I feel like this bag like says that I've got so many cool blue things that I could literally do all blue makeup and be like, a, uh, maybe do a space look. From L'Oreal, I got this Lumi Shimmerista, which is just like a shimmer powder, which I'm always down for. Then to line some of the lip colors, I have I have the lip liner that goes with them from Huda. I've got, apparently this is like, the PR person was telling me like, this is a, a jam lip, uh, eye mascara that it was really really good and it's the Loria make makeup uh designer paris lash paradise voluminous so she said this was an awesome like everyday mascara and that i needed to try it that's how it got in my bag i swear we are almost done then i got also from bliss a lip and sugar sugar and polish and they said that this was just like a great like rejuvenating thing for your lips and the girl who was there she was like i just started and these are all the things that I fell in love with first. So she was giving us things that she said that like really made a difference in her life. And this was on that list. Also on that list were the mascaras, the setting sprays, um, some of the hair products as well. Then we got last, but last two things are this infallible pro last uh, flesh tone eyeliner, which is supposed to be really popular right now. Instead of doing the white down at the bottom, using the flesh colored. And then lastly is this Infallible Paints in Metallic. Now, I have used these before. Personally, I love them. I have an orange one somewhere else. Uh, I have a pink one as well. So I'm a big fan of these already. And this color, and I'm going to just put it on for you right now because it's so great. It's right here. Is... Literally the most amazing neutral ever. I'm obsessed with it. The color is called Moonlust. And I just think it's great. I've already worn it a couple times because it's just such a fantastic neutral with a little bit of sparkle. So, my friends, that is it. That is all the PR stuff I got this week. Now, as we discussed earlier, 
I am going to be putting together a super secret mystery box to mail one of you. It will feature some of the items I showed here today. Um, I will be repurchasing them. Don't worry, you won't be getting my used goodies. Um, and some other surprises for me. And if you want to win that mystery box, all you need to do is leave a comment down below of why you're happy today. Also, like and subscribe. And the contest will, will end a week from today, so next Saturday. And I will put all the information on the dates and everything in the description box in case you're like, when is that? You'll know. So with that, guys, I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. I hope you enjoyed watching all the insane goodies I got this week. I'm like, really feel overwhelmed with it all. But I am excited to try it out. Get, be prepared for some fun makeup stuff coming because I got to try all of this out. <laughs> and with that, I'll check you guys later and peace.